here in Rice Stadium as these fans are ready for what should be an incredible game. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds at the 47. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. He gets rid of this one. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. He's under pressure. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. it out to about the 20. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Drop down around the 22-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 22. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the eight. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. That makes it first and goal. for the touchdown and it's going to be an interception he telegraphed that throw he eyed his receiver the whole way that was an easy read by the defense from their own 20 yard line it's first down here we go he's out to the 30 gains his way to the 39 yard line Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and three. Yeah. 
And down he goes around the 41-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds. And about the 29-yard line. He scrambled. He's at the 20. And he hits him hard at the 14. seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls are right where they want to be early in this one. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 23. He zips it out to the left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. but who's it going to be called on? Pass, Pass interference. interference. Offense. Offense. It'll be third down again Still after that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. He airs it out. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. He gets 
out to about the 32-yard line. And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That brings up second and From their own 29-yard line, second down. Rice is up seven. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle at the 48. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws, and it's incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Owls lead 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Nice run up the middle. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line, third down. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it fourth and one. too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Rice up seven points. Gives it off, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And it's caught. Nice play to stop first and goal. Their 
are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 30-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a good That brings him second and second one. one. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. a great tackle at the 45 yard line that makes it first and 10 looks to the back and can't connect this running back runs outstanding routes out of the backfield but that pass was a little too out in front of him second down 10 to go Ball on the 45-yard line. Right two. Caught. Open field. Tackle made at the 43. Number 57 makes the tackle at the 43-yard line. First and two. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Call the of 10 yards. First down. Here we go. Here we go. Easy, two, easy. Three, two. Throws complete. He's hit right away. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. to the tailback, and he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Number 24 with the tackle at the 22-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Black five, black five. Go. And he stopped behind the line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Got it on a quick throw. And he's level at the 16. Gain of seven on the play. Right, 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 right. That'll, That'll bring, bring up third and four. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That brings us fourth and seven. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. The Bears' wide receiver went out with that injury. He was a key part of their offense, and uh, they're going to have to try to find a way to replace him. It's not going to be easy. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Rice has been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. He's out. Go, go, go. Wants to go long and does. Uh, intercepted. Number 25 makes the interception. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Brought down at the 47. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 40. Kill, kill. That'll bring up third and six. Green nine, green nine. Move 20, easy, easy. Go. No good. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. We played a half of football here. The Owls in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half. As a result, you get yourself a two-score lead, but you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously, you can get this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up, but you built a two-score cushion. You've got, you've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So... I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again.
Get to the back and hit hard for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 24. Six-yard line. He rifles it. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. To about the 23. Nice Call it a gain of two yards. yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second. second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's an opening inside the 10. Touchdown, Owls. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. That's good for a He's into the open field. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chains. it out to about the 44-yard line. Tackle around the 33-yard line. the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Third 
Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And off to the left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. away and he got it that one looked like cake for this kid chalk up three points for the offense 21 6 rice everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. yard line third it's third down <laughs> looks middle got his back he steps out of the 38 yard line but well, as you just saw right there the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient six-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's on the run. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. Steps out at the 11 yard line. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up second and 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Bears saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And he's taken down at the one. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 21-6, Owl. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. play 75 yard drive and it's good for seven points 
Rice is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. at the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Mike, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Hey, Looks to his receiver, first down. He's tackled at the 45. Number 10 makes the second goal at the 45-yard line. First down. Strike and he drops it. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Caught open field. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires complete over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Number 57 on the tackle at the 21-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quickly, and he's got his man, and they make the stop at about the 15 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check, check, green, dance, blue, 20. The defender had it and then dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Just throws this one away. So they're going to go for it here. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Touchdown, Bears! No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling around. They got it. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is 28-14, Rice. He's tackled at the 
43 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's stopped behind the line. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 44. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. The Bears will use their first time out of the half. He chucks it downfield. And he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. It was a quick three-play, 44-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Around the 39 yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Three, switch, switch, switch! First down. Red, two, blue, four! Blue, four! Slings it quickly to his halfback again. Tackle right around midfield. With the reception. Kill, kill, kill! Yellow, Number 57 three. on the tackle. The Yellow, three! Line. First down. First down. Three, go! Gets it out quicker. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. That brings him second and five. Throws into double coverage, and it's intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. T-15, T-15. Gets to around the 42. Chains. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, Rice 35, Baylor 14. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.